Hi, my name is Pema and I'm a Tibetan living in London and I just wanted to take a moment here to discuss some of China's um, arguments to defend their mass colonial boarding schools in Tibet because right now China is on a major propaganda spree and here's an example. On February 6, 2023, a study by United Nations human rights experts was published saying that 1 million children in Tibet Autonomous Region were separated from their families and were forced to live and study in boarding schools. So today I'm here in Tibet Autonomous Region in Lhasa City to visit a boarding school and I hope to talk to students, parents, teachers and other people to see circumstances on the ground and make it clear what is going on. Yes, let's find out what is going on here. Firstly, who are you and how are you getting all of this unrestricted access into Tibet? Because everyone knows journalists are banned in Tibet. And if they do get access, they are on highly scripted and controlled tours where no one will talk to them honestly and openly, even if they wanted to, in fear of being put in prison and severely punished. So to me, this video is obvious. It's state-run organized media, a.k.a. Chinese communist propaganda. Yes, her favorite subject is Tibetan. Maybe because she's a Tibetan living in Tibet. I mean... I don't know what this clip is trying to say, but what I am getting from it is that Tibetan language has been reduced to a class, a class a day, a class a week. It's not clear. I mean, it reminds me of when I was studying in London and I was studying German once a week for an hour. And when I look back at it, all I remember or know in German is Ad I mean, this is not bilingual education. What is the language of instruction? That is the important question. Why aren't Tibetan students able to learn maths and science in Tibetan language in their own country. But man, I'm not the expert. Let's ask Dr. Gello, who is a leading uh, Tibetan educationist expert. The bilingual education, the internationally accepted uh, definition is teaching two different language and the two different cultural system to the student. It is clear here, 40 minutes Tibetan class teaching a day, which means 90% of the school time been teaching Chinese. So this is a misleading interpretation about the bilingual education in Tibet. <laughs> so I really feel that they enjoy their stay here at boarding school and especially I think that the student organizations and clubs they help them to have this overall school experience so I see that they really enjoy their youth and enjoy their stay here. I am glad to know that there are house mothers and counsellors to support these children in these schools because they have been taken from their loved ones, from their parents, from their homes, their safety nets. Many from such young ages, such as four and five six and six year olds. So there better be support for them. But it's not clear. We simply don't know if that is the case. But I think the most important question here, or the bigger question, is why does this counsellor have to play the role of a mother and a father when these Tibetan children have a father and a mother? Tibetan children should have the right to live freely with their parents. But I'm not the expert here. Let's ask Dr. Gello. Uh, who will believe, who will trust this interview? How did she know, be able to know, within the seven, few days interview, and then just to say, this is about real bilingual education, 
and this is a, a good school education. I was been uh, working with the Tibetan education system nearly 30 years. I'm still doing the research and in order to get a comprehensive, deep comprehensive understanding of the education. The few days interview be able to show the comprehensive understanding of the education, for example, how those kids, the psychological growth, emotional life, with their curriculum and the school life. It is very clear when students being asked to take an interview, then they already been informed to answer the certain question, no others. I think Dr. Geller has a really good point here that this woman would never really know the true sentiments and emotions and feelings of these Tibetan children because they are in colonial boarding schools in occupied Tibet. They are not free to speak their minds. Their parents are not free to choose their schools. Their teachers are not free to teach in Tibetan language and Tibetan history. China are foreign colonizers. Tibet is not free. So no amount of Chinese propaganda like this video will ever justify their colonial boarding schools and occupation of Tibet.